Forest Bathing by Dr. Cindy Gilbert. So, I think, like, I know I've done, like, three or four um, reviews already about forest bathing, so, um, I think, like, one or two have that same title. Um, but, we can always have some more books about forest bathing. I have no problem with it. <laughs> uh, so, you get how forced bathing comes to play in her life and how she uh, prescribes it to her patients. Um, so you get that type of information in the introduction. You get four, t uh, four chapters. What is forced bathing? Why you should do it? How, how to forced bathe? And uh, FAQ uh, chapter. So it does talk about it um, not talk about, but mentions, um, the Society of Forest Medicine and Forest Therapy Society. So, like, um, in Japan, um, and how it's moving abroad to other countries, not just Japan, how it's moving into, like, um, North America and everything. Um, turning places back to green spaces, like, what would have been, like, um, certain buildings, how they're making it into just, uh, like, feel like, playground, like, open area for, like, people and kids to interact in, um, camping, spas and, and thermal waters, um, free luftsfi, even, even writing how to say it, I'm probably saying it wrong, um, meaning, Free air life or open air living, uh, Norway, Norwegian. So, uh, so, um, and she does have um, quite a bit of information in here. And um, I wrote down a quote: "People living within 1.9 miles, three kilometers of dense living, uh, living near a green space." or are less likely to experience the negative um, impacts of stress and have fewer health um, complaints, even faced with major losses, relationship problems, economic insta instability, and other stressful life events. So, I can see that <laughs> being accurate. Um, I wish I was living more closer. I have like, um, a park, like, pretty much across the street, and I'm like, but even that's slightly depressing. <laughs> um, talking about nature de deficit disorder, healing power of nature, um, build re resilience, and different other aspects. Apparently I have a screenshot from no oh, um she does make a note that um with the research available about um the benefits it's more um focused on young and middle-aged japanese man men um a lot of the studies have been quite small, which makes them less reliable than studies with thousands or tens of thousands of participants. Um, few of the studies have been replicated, so it's hard to say whether they are accurate or reproducible, both of which are critical to authenticating the health benefits of forest bathing. So we can all say, like, there have been many studies that I'm pretty sure um, that say that forest um, at least getting into nature is beneficial, but, um, she's stating that the forest bathing, um, articles, um, studies need to be, um, to be done more. Um, so, um, unplug, so... They do bring a few different um, examples in um, um, 
She's bringing in a few examples, uh, a few points. So, it's hard to imagine stories such as Winnie the Pooh, Robin Hood, Snow White, or The Wind in the Willows without their ever-present backdrop of the forest. Fairy tales and other fictional stories in print and on screen often refer, refer to the magic and mystery of the enchanted woods. Books such as Dr. Seuss's The Lorax, Hayao Mazaki's film The Princess, film Princess Minok, and James Cameron's movie Avatar all center on the theme of protecting the soul or the spirit of the forest. Um, not everything inspired by nature shows only the bright side of the forest. Folk stories such as Baba Yaga, Hansel and Gretel, and Little Red Riding Hood warn children of the dark side of the forest too. The forest outside Hogwarts and J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series has its dangers as well. So, um, there are benefits and like, even in stories, showing the good and bad and, um, kind of thing. So, um, there's a few different types of tie-ins as well. In the appendix, learn more, you do get, um, some forest bathing resources, like sites and stuff. So, um, you can continue on if you want, um, as well, um, with those, but, um, nice informational look into, um, forest bathing, um, you're getting a little more information in this one than I think in the, um, in one or two of the other ones that I've, um, done review ones already, but yeah, uh, forest bathing by Dr. Cindy Gilbert, happy readings.